I had the enormous pleasure of interviewing Albi at Spiel 2023 and they were kind enough to give me a copy of Karak 2, the successor of Karak, a family game that was very successful and this time they want to replicate the same success with the same quality game. I haven't opened it yet and I didn't get a chance to play it at Spiel, so is this game going to be worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? So play we all. In character, you are going to take on the role of a hero that's going to be exploring the areas around Castle Karak and fighting the monsters that are trying to plague the land. Which sounds very good, and the cover does reflect that perfectly, I have to say. I love the composition with the two spiraling into the name, which looks very clear, even though it is a very specific font that they have designed, but it reads very, very well indeed. I love the, the, the variation and the diversity of all the characters in here, all the cool animals, and then the monsters down there, and everything around Castle Karak that stays behind the heroes who are trying to protect it. I love the story that this cover is telling from the get-go. A triumph, really love it. In the back, we get a fair bit of blurb in French, German and English about what the game is going to be all about. A very cool uh, show of what the components and the game once set up is going to look like when you're playing it. So, how about inside? Let's find out. I hope this thing will never ever lose its sharpness because I enjoy it so much. Okay. But to say it's interesting how um, much brighter the colors are once you take the plastic off and just so you can see they have the nice plastic shine on top, which you can see very well with these lights that I have here in the studio because they're so shiny. Oh, they're very, more or less you can see it. Okay, let's open this. Keep it uh, the cover of the box is relatively thin, so you have to be a little bit careful with this. And then we get the rule book in English, in German and in French, because the game is going to be language independent. Let's take a look at the rules in the only of the three languages that I can speak fluently. Uh, that would be in Spanish. Oh, I don't have the Spanish one. Okay, let's read the English. Uh, so, a quick little bit of story about the game, the core concept, the components, setting up, which looks, uh, I guess, I'm guessing that this is going to be one of these situations in which the rules look a lot more complex than the setup itself. Because there seem to be like 14 steps, but I bet you anything that this is going to be like a lot simpler than it looks to set up. And then we get the playing the game, movement action, exploring the landscape, battling with the monster, plenty of examples, which is nice. Because I know that it makes the rule look a lot bigger, but we get examples, we get another example, another two, another one, and more, and another one. So it seems like everything that they have described, they have given an, an example to, which is very, very welcome indeed. And then at the end, we get the description of every token that needs to be described on every character hero with their abilities. Okay, good. Then we get a gazillion tiles, like one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's look. The printing is very sharp, the colors are very good. They don't seem to have gone off the printing plate very much. They're very dynamic. And I love the variety of, of characters. It's, they look so cool. I mean, you will be able to play somebody who's riding a Velociraptor. How, how much cooler can this be? And a worse dromedary. A worse camel. A worse camel. That's brilliant. I love that. Here we get more tokens. Again, very clearly printed, which is nice. They come out of the sprues easily enough, which means you don't have to worry about them getting broken. Different sides to them, so I'm guessing at some point you're going to have to flip them in game. I love this. Um, I presume this is going to be the first starter, you know, the first player token. And it looks so creepy and so cool. I love it. And then we get. The big main tile. Oh, here we go. Different sides. I love that they're double sided. And they look different from each side. And in fact, this is interesting because the heroes. From the front, you can see the face of the hero. From the back, you can see the back of the hero. Normally you would see the front both ways, but not this time. No, no, no. That's a nice detail. I like it. And I presume this is going to be the main tile. Because it shows what Abed is Castle Karak in there. So there are plenty more. I'm not going to go through all of them because what would be the point? You know they exist and they come out just as easily from all of them. Then we see a very cool insert with two lids. And we get two separate inserts. Which is interesting enough. In the first one I have three little bags with some tokens which are tiny. Let's see if the camera can see them all. I don't know what these are meant to be bricks perhaps. These red ones they look like little bears or perhaps pigs. I think they're going to be pigs. And last but not least, we get grapes. Because it, I think it's important that they are grapes. Because if you don't have grapes, then how are you going to make the wine to celebrate all the battles that you're going to win against the monsters? I think it makes sense that they are grapes. So, grapes. They are very fizzy and very tiny though. Okay. Grapes. Walking sausages. And bricks, I suppose. They look like bricks to me. I just going to think they are bricks because that makes me feel better thinking that they are bricks and not something else. These are the player boards and this is interesting because I see if I can show you in the screen but they are recessed so you can put whatever it is you have to put the tokens inside without them going all over the place so that I like. I know that that makes the whole thing a lot more expensive to produce, but it's a very, very nice detail. 
Then we get a bunch of dices. Uh, oh, they feel good. They feel very, very good. I don't know, they're like chunky and nice to hold. And this is the problem I see is that they don't have an upward of contrast, so it is very hard to see what uh, you've actually rolled. So the skull or the, or, the, or the sword. Not easy. The green one is fine, but the blue is not great. Okay, more, more, more. More dices. I know it is dice. Same quality, but this time you can see perfectly what they are. Because, you know, contrasting. And color combination, important. I bet that there are some people with color blindness who are going to suffer. Done. These are the little feet for the characters and a very good, very cool cloth bag with character in it. And that's it. I presume that once you have unsprued everything, you will be able to put neatly where everything is meant to go, which is very nice. I love the look of this insert and how much love and care they've put into it. So. That's it. I look forward to playing this and seeing what the game is like. But if you have already done so, I very much look forward to hearing what you have to say. So, thank you so much for being there. And until the next time, I will talk to you very, very soon. So play wheel.